Hey everyone, I am so excited to continue our wildflower card series and today we are making this little cute chamomile card. So you'll need a pencil and eraser. And then I have a white 08 jelly roll gel pen. I have a dark green and a light green metallic marker. These are by James Burke, but I actually only end up using the light green, so just so you guys know. And then I have this yellow Vicky Booten marker, and all of these show up really well on craft paper, but use whatever you have. The first thing we're going to do is pencil in the center of our flower, so the yellow part. And you just want to do this really lightly, and it's just a guesstimate. Um, they're really tiny, the chamomile flowers, so you can do quite a few. Just barely enough so you can see it, because you don't want it showing through your yellow marker. Once you have that done, if you are comfortable with it, you can take your white gel pen and draw the petals. If you're not as comfortable with that, you could always pencil in the petals first, or you could also use a scratch piece of paper and practice a little bit. They're super simple. Um, they're kind of just like a teardrop shape, all squished together. And I'm just going around where I made the middles with the pencil. The pencil just helps to kind of give a guide and a little bit of a layout so you know where you want things. And then I'm just going to fill in those petals. I made some that are more from the side view and then some that are from more of the front or top view because chamomile really bends all over the place and you can get all different angles when you're looking at it, so it just gives it some variety and it's a lot of fun to have them all different angles and things like that. So I'm just going to keep going around until I get all of these drawn and filled in. You can kind of see I'm not completely filling in the petals because I feel like it gives it more of a hand-drawn look and I really think it looks cute and just adds some character to the flowers. So feel free to play around with this and kind of make it your own. See what you'd prefer. Chamomile is one of my favorite flowers, and not just to draw, but in real life also. It is just so cute and delicate and bouncy, and it's just a really, really great flower. So I'm excited to draw it on these cards. All right, now I'm gonna take the yellow and fill in the centers. Now you can go where that pencil mark was, approximately. It does not have to be exact. It's another good thing about the craft paper. I love how these flowers look on it, but also it doesn't show the pencil up that well. So you can kind of hide it in your final piece. Okay, I've added all of the flowers in the centers. So next it's time for the stems. I'm gonna be using this light green metallic marker. Um, like I said, if you have other markers that will show up on dark paper, use those. You could use a gel pen or you could use a light colored card as well. So many options, just use what you have and make it work. I'm just going to make these stems now and I always like to curve the stem just like in real life. Um, they're not perfectly straight. You can make one stem for each flower, you can connect some flowers to one branch. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make the leaves, which are just kind of like a flick of my marker, a really quick line. And you can also make stems or branches off of your main branch and add leaves to that as well, just to kind of fill in the gaps. 
and I like to make the, the leaves go all the way up the stem until they reach the bottom of the flower petals. And then you can take a look, take a little step back and see where you think you need more items or stems. You can see I'm adding a few off side shoots right here with leaves on them just to kind of fill it in. And I'm actually going to add another flower right there. I usually end up making things a little bit off balanced when I first map it out to the point that I'm finished. So once I draw everything that I have mapped out with my pencil, I look at it again and see where I need to add things and just make it look more balanced and full. So I could tell over here needed another little flower. So I'm just going to put that in. And by now you're probably comfortable freehand, but if not, that's okay. You can still use a pencil. Just a real quick flower right there. And then I'm going to make the stem go kind of down at that curved angle just to kind of add in more to the left side of my card because I'm feeling like it's a little heavier on the right side. So I'm just going to add that in. Add another little side shoot right here with some leaves. And then add another one maybe right there. With a few more leaves. You can kind of just go back through and fill in the gaps where you think it looks like it's missing something. These branches are super easy and quick to make. And then it's all finished. You could add a happy birthday message or any other custom message to the front or you could just leave it like that. But that is all for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching.